And also those who cannot scan, we can add them manually, but at the end of class. Okay. So, uh, now I would like to, uh, let me start recording. Well, Again and again, welcome to class and uh, good evening, everyone. So, as usual, we would like to, before we start any, any new chapter, I would like to return back to explain and to refresh your memory regarding what we took, what we took in the last class and our last classes. What we took in the last classes as almost three chapters. We explain a lot of things that's very important. And we see that how information system is very important for to solve a problem. And how we can solve a problem and how we can make a critical thinking using the solving problem to solve a problem. And how you as a graduate in your career anyone in his career to take that advantage of information system because either you are in a business or in accounting or you are in any field, you would like to use information system. And how it is very important, you have to know to be skillful, critical thinking, problem solving, and how to use information system in your uh, field and in your, to accomplish your daily affairs and your job. Then we moved how we, how we can manage our business or e-business or global e-business and how we can make a collaboration. We moved to different level of management and we know how what applications and collaboration is very important and how we can increase collaboration. How, what information system that we have to use to make that collaboration done. Then I would like to ask you, what was the last chapter? Anybody can answer me? Four or three? What 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 was the last chapter, last class? And to use the system to achieve a competitive advantage. And how do you achieve? What is the business process? How we can do business process management and re-engineering? Yes. All of that is a very important to understand what is the connectivity between information system and how to manage a company. How many aspects of information system? We see that we have three organization, people, and technology. Right? How many aspects of information system are three? People, organization, and technology. Today, we are going to talk about technology. So what's the technology? Technology, it is hardware and software. Means that technology or IT is talking about hardware and software. Because hardware without a software and not run, right? So, what we are going to learn, as I told you, the aspects of information system is very important to understand. When you're going to solve a problem, you have to look from these three aspects. And information system is not just a hardware or software, also people there and organization, where we uh, practice in the business process to understand the business process and how. 
we accomplished our tasks. Today, class is to introduce one aspect. It is technology. So what we are going to learn. In this class, today class, we are going to understand and to know the components, the components of IT infrastructure. What are these components? Yes. And what is the new trend? Yes, new trend. Can you see the slides? Sir. Can you see the slides? Yes, sir. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes. yes. So these objectives, or what we are going to learn is components of IT infrastructure, the component of a hardware that uh, I mean, the different type of hardware or major computer hardware that's used in the business. And what is the new trend? Here's the key point. What is the new trend in hardware? Also, we are going to know the major types of computer software used in business. And what is the new trend? It's very important also to understand the principle to, to, to understand or to know the principal issues in managing hardware and software technology because it is very important to understand that. And how that technology is managed, scalability and capability of technology. So let's go. I would like to mention that if you open to you are opening to uh, to devices, maybe your computer and maybe your also smartphone, you have to close the mic. Thank you. So please close the mic to make sure that. We don't have a noise in our recording and also in the class. Okay. Hello? Please. No role, Natasha. Okay, I will mic. Okay. So please keep uh, your mic muted because all, I hear my voice twice. Do you hear the same thing? Yes, doctor. Yes, so please, everyone, keep your mic muted. So we would like to run our class today smoothly. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Okay. Now, what are the components? The components of or the IT components as the infrastructures. Before we explain the components, we would like to know what is IT infrastructure. IT infrastructure is very important. It is a platform for supporting all information systems in the business. What are these components? Five components, don't forget. Computer hardware, computer software, data management technology, networking and telecommunication technology, and technology service. Uh, technology service, the last one is a very important. Why? Because if there is no service, there is no maintenance, the IT will be saturated. Or maybe there is a problem, you have to update, upgrade, and maintain your uh, uh, IT. Who? Oh, let me start from the, from the last one. Technology services. For example, UUM, UUM IT Center. What do you do? You do maintaining for a network, do maintaining for computers, for software, 
for everything, even students. If you have a problem with your computer, you can go to UUM IT Center. Yes, I know now you are at your home town. My question, anybody, anyone still in campus? No one. Good. So, the component is a very important as a platform because without hardware, we cannot manage our uh, activities. Software is a very important because it should operate the hardware. Data management technology. This is one where we save our data. Where we save our data is in a data management center, or we call it data centers. Where you save your details, profiles. Where we save articles, we save books. Where we save details about you. Where is the all operations of your UM safe in data management? Networking. Networking. If we don't have networking, we cannot communicate with you now. Yes? Even me. We connect through internet interface to UUM portal, to library. So I have the same. Without connectivity and without telecommunication or networking, we cannot connect to the right place. So these are components are integrated to be there. Also, the most important part here is technology surface. Technology surfaces that keep the hardware and software and data management, networking and telecommunication is updated and upgraded. This is very important. That's why they include the surface as a one part of IT components. Now, this figure make it clear to you, this components of IT. Maybe I ask you, what are the components of IS and IT? What you can answer easily. IT in general, it is a subset of IS, or it is a part of IS. At the same time, IT has five components. IS, how many components? Three. One of these three components of IS, information systems, IS is technology. And this technology has five components. Wow. So don't mix between IT components and, or IT infrastructure components and information components. So, to uh, refresh again, this components is hardware, software, data management, networking, and services. And you both a, a very big underline here. Now, you are talking about technology and hardware. What the different computers that we have? Normally, we know we have our personal computers and our mobile devices. But big companies, they have their workstations, big computers. Why? These big computers to accomplish a huge task for the one company, which is not just a small uh, computer. Servers. Servers, now when you do add and drop, you go to, to where? You go and log into the server. The server. That's why sometimes you found that server is down because there is a huge traffic to the servers from who from students would like to register at the same time this used to be happened before but now no more like that mainframes supercomputers grid computing all of these computers to perform a certain type of task which is very strong and very complicated, cannot be performed by a normal computer, but could be managed different institutions, different departments to accomplish a certain type of task. What is the internet? We use internet, but what's this type of computing? Internet 
that we use is a classic server computing. What do you mean? Do you follow this one? This client server computing is like that. Maybe you are familiar with that, but you don't know it is client and server. The good example is lab. In HTML, there is different labs. Or in internet shop, there is a different computers in the lab. So the lab that connected a lot of computers together, this one is a client server computing. How? Because one computer is a server. And 40, 50, 20 computers lay as a client. What is this a process? It is a normally one standard that how we could perform our task and how we could accomplish our job. So we don't do the job or to accomplish the job in the user interface or in the application functions. It go to the server to request data from the server or any kind of service. So in the data center, uh, sorry, in the client server computing, the computer in the lab called client because that computer cannot perform the old task. It will send requests to the, the server. The server is there. You can find the server in, in the one corner of the lab. That server perform all tasks requested from all computers and PCs in that lab. We put that client server computing. So let's go back. So this client server computing is form of this distributed computing. What do you do? Split processing between clients and servers. Two-tailed clients, this one. This is two tails, client and server. Architect, this is a type of architect. Other one is multi-tailed. Client server architect, in tier, like this. This is a multi tier. A lot of uh, client and server. So, in a multi tier client server architect, the, including the web servers and application servers, as we found here and I will show in the figure, server, uh, uh, web servers and application servers. This explains the process how the computing is running, how we could connect to internet. Internet also the same. How we connect, uh, we are a client. When we connect to internet, internet or the operators, who are the operators? Operators like DM, like any uh, DJ, Cellcom, Maxis, uh, any one of these companies as a service, internet service providers. He provides, or operators, he provides internet. When we log into internet, we go to the server, the server. So they know that you are a client. That's why you have to have IB address. Now, what different type of hardware? Hardware. And where we can use that hardware? Hardware like storage, flash memory, anything that we can save our data there. Also, a hardware could be input hardware or could be output technology as a hardware. So, when we talk about the storage, it is a hardware, but could be a primary storage or uh, could be a removable storage could be magnetic, could be SSD. Now, many computers using SSD. Why? Because the processor, you can manipulate very fast, 10 times faster than uh, the old technology. Optical disk, magnetic tape, SAN, or we call that storage networking. How we can store networking? We make a network to store things. Input devices, input, 
to it. Weak input is key part. Output devices is a benefit. We have to know the hardware, different hardware, how it look like. Now, when we would like to talk about contemporary hardware trends, what is that? We would like to mention that what is the new trends currently? What is the new trend of hardware in industrial revolution 4.0? And how we can use it? And why that new hardware trends make individuals, businesses, societies more interactive and they can communicate faster and faster. We have a new trends like mobile and digital platforms. Mobile and digital platforms, tablet computers or netbooks that make it easy for you to connect and communicate with outsiders. Consumerization of IT and bring your own device. Now companies, when they have, I mean, when they bring you to the company to get a job, they will not give you a smartphone. They just give you application. Application, you download that. So you are using your smartphone, not using the company smartphone, unless that company would like to bring you a smartphone. But in general, in general, bring your own device or BYOD is a print your own device. It's a common now. How we could just develop application that you can download in your uh, device or a mobile or any digital device that can make easier or can make it easier for you to accomplish your job. Commercial, uh, consumerization of IT and bring your device, also nanotechnology and quantum computing, nano. How to make things smaller and smaller and smaller? It's also a new trend. How do we use, not just a smaller, a simple form, the better performance, huge capacity and capability than before, and also the size, very small. We call that a nanotechnology. Quantum computing. Now, quantum computing is also a new trend. Let me give you an example in general. Now, if you would like to, I mean, if you have a computer or a notebook that you would like to refresh, or you have a Casper Sky, Casper Sky, for example. When you look into internet, they will do updating by themselves. They will upgrade themselves. So no problem. Also, some uh, hardware technology faster than before because of that quantum computing. What we are trying to say here is to what extent that new technology is very important to run a business or to help organizations to achieve operational excellence or to accomplish their task very fast and easier with effective and efficient manner. Virtualization. Virtualization. When we say company, we mention company virtualization or virtual company. How you have a company online? Now, virtualization, how to meet that uh, software defined storage. How to make, how you can connect to that uh, uh, storage from time to time easily and to make, to see files there. So this is a contemporary hardware technology. New uh, nanotubes, also one of new trends. Now, cloud computing platform. What is it? Now it becomes easier. We practice that. How we can connect to Google Drive? How we can connect to Dropbox? Yes. How we can connect small companies? Small companies sometimes you don't have capability to buy the systems or to make their own systems. So we can rent and subscribe for such a service. What that service? 
The service could be the infrastructure. Yes, some companies they don't have to buy cent uh, data centers or to buy huge computers to accomplish their job. So they can go to rent or to subscribe for the service from a cloud in a infrastructure service. An infrastructure service is uh, make it easier for uh, companies or startup companies and small companies to have this uh, or to have IT infrastructure because IT and information system is a very important and small companies and startup companies cannot bring that to their city. What are the services in uh, cloud computing? A lot of services. The first is infrastructure. Second, application services. Platform services. Sometimes you use that company as a platform. You. Now it is easier to connect and to do that online. Amazon. Amazon Web Services. Amazon, they provide different services. But, but what is the problem? Is uh, no, no many one use it. Or there's some companies they don't connect through Amazon. But there is a variety of services provided by Amazon in a network, computing, content delivery, data storage, database, deployment, management, application services, and analytics. All these services provided by Amazon Web Services. Wow, they atomize everything. So they can reach you and get your business done and receive your business, your service easy. So what is the cloud computing? Yes, cloud computing is one of contemporary hardware technology or trends. How we can explain the cloud computing? It is computing sources obtained over the internet. How? Means we don't have it in our place. We connect through a link URL to the internet. What is it? What type of that resources? As we see, three things. Either to have an infrastructure as a service, that's mean you log into some companies, they can provide these services also, the cloud computing. So you can bring you as a uh, infrastructure, as a service, provide you. You can use the infrastructure virtual because internet and 5G now is increasing. So public, vice, private clouds. Also, cloud computing could be one of these. Could be private, could be uh, public, so how that can serve organizations and societies. And the most key point here is security. Cloud computing is need more security. Utility computing, on-demand computing. On-demand or uh, in a certain time. How we can provide the service easier. So what we would like to see that the new trend of hardware make it easier to deliver a certain type of services and businesses. Or could you have a hybrid cloud? That the storage, security in, uh, is in hands of provider. What is this? The, the last point I would like to mention is the data storage itself. Security is a big issue. So the data storage in the cloud computing should be secured by the host. So the security is by that company who provides that service. That's why a lot of companies, they don't like to use cloud computing for a critical things or business. They use their businesses, but 
not for save a certain files or for saving a certain section of the company performance. This is a new trend of hardware, green computing, IT, or green IT. What is it? Now, when we design, when companies start to design things, you have to look for the environment. What we mean? We mean here, when companies would like to make any kind of IT, you have to consider to what extent that IT part or the tool will contribute to the carbon dioxide. So we have to eliminate that. So how we can do that? Green IT concept is the practice and technologies for minimizing, for minimizing impact on the environment. So we would like to preserve the environment. Also, high performance and power saving processes or processor, a power saving processor, not like before. Now you can find that processing is very fast, efficient and effective, but no need to spend a lot of electricity. The consumption of electricity is low. Multi-core processor, when you have the processor CPU, multi-core, you can define the job and accomplish uh, very fast and shear too, can be sheared easily. Reduced power consumption is a very important power consumption. You can notice that previously, how was your laptop need to work on power? How was differences between different kind of devices or uh, technology devices? So contemporary has with terms is very important to understand what type of technology is suit our new changes or what in our future of the company. So that's why companies would like to do updating, upgrading for their systems continuously. Now, we would like to talk about major type of softwares. And we will talk that how, what are the software trends. Before, before I move, I would like Just to mention to you, group assignment. What is a group assignment? We give you a group assignment. What you have to do? Now, I would like each group to, con to contact with the group members. I give you 10 minutes now. I give you 10 minutes to make sure that your group assignment is running smoothly I'll give you 10 minutes now to discuss about the group assignment, the leader, the components, and the group assignment, how to manage that, for sure. Now, group assignment, it is, I already shared with you the topics, and you determine the topic. So what you have to do? You have each one. You are five students. Five students, you have to define the job work among all of you. What you have to do, each student has to bring five articles to have or depend on five articles to the 20, uh, 2000 or 2020, 2090, and 2018, within three years, not more than three years. You can, 2021. But because we are talking about ICT and improvement and new progress in ICT. Yes? So, please discuss with your group members now. You have to settle. You have to know each other well. And now I give you 10 minutes. Please start now. Thank <laughs> you. 
Um, sorry, doctor. What do you mean the article from three years ago? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, what we are, what I think now, each group, you have to discuss with the members. And for example, each group, each member in the group have to bring five articles about mm -hmm. COVID. And you have to share the 20 articles. You have to share the 20 articles with your members. But not now. The articles not now. You have to discuss to know each other now. You to think now. You have to discuss to know each other and to know how you are going to do your assignment and how you can you are going to search about the articles. You have to log in. You have to log into UUM. So through e resources. You can find a solution. Don't just depend. Yes, don't just depend on Google. Google may not bring articles. We need a good articles that highlight your topic issues clearly and with academic manner. So, please, please start to discuss with your group members now. And if you have so, to ask me. Yes. So you're saying that each or uh, each group have to give have to find five articles about our topics, right? Each, or one person. One person articles. in each group. And you have to discuss with your group members. Each person should has find five articles. So in total it will be twenty five uh, articles. Yes, twenty five. Okay, sir, thank you. Okay? Okay. Continue discuss now. I give you almost how many minutes? Okay, seven minutes more. So, uh, regarding discussion, have you, to make it easy for you, last time you, you uh, create subgroups or group assignments or subgroup for group assignment, right? So each group 
should have this group. So you are five members, you should have a WhatsApp group. Why? To make and to arrange how you can find that article. And because you have to share what are places that you have to look for articles for. And you have to define the job, what you have to do, or what is this topic about, and what are you going to write for the topic? Because how you can how you are going to explain the topic and to report the topic. So I brought to you 50 topics in uh, ICT new trends. So each group choose one topic. Now I would like you to develop like a chapter or something. Yes, an academic way. For anyone who would like to understand the topic, he can read your chapter to make it as a paper or chapter, right? So what things that you have to reflect, what things that you have to reflect or to write in your group assignment to make things clear for any reader to understand what are the concepts, what are the uses, what are different, different aspects that make things clear. And what is the examples? You can you give examples or cases? They do that. What is the advantage? What are the benefits? What are the challenges? What is the current issues? What is your proposed? A lot of things. Yes, uh, this report or group assignment has to be at least 30 pages, right? At least 30 pages. So each one student, each member, you write five pages. Five pages for your assignment. When you bring to them, or sorry, six pages. Six pages, excluding, excluding, uh, references and the cover page. Okay? So, <laughs> yes, any question? So, uh, make sure you discuss. If you have anything, please come to uh, ask me ab about it. Yeah? Yes. Uh, sorry. Uh, how many pages? Should be six pages for each member. For each member. That means you one group is thirty pages. This is a group assignment. Group assignment twenty marks twenty. Right. Most of my students they do well. They do that well. Okay. How? You can get twenty. You can get good results in group assignment, good results and score in individual assignment, also quizzes and exams. In that way, you can get A, A plus, no problem, unless you work hard, you follow the guidelines. But now I would like you to know each other. You have to know each other. Okay? So, first you have to communicate. And to have a meeting, you have to have a meeting, right? I would like to see your meeting later. So please continue to discuss. I will ask you, I will call you one by one.
Hello? You will. Who is you will? You will? You win. I would like to say you win here or not. You win. You are not here. Okay, I will. I will. But you are in. Uh, uh, you win. Where are you? Please. Yes. You have to push it to her. You win. He or she? You win. Vimanzan. Yes, you win. I would like to see your photo. too. Okay, use your smartphone, right? You win. You win. You win. How are you? So, yes. Who are your group members? Yes. Kartika, sorry, the Kartika, Anis, Atika, and Hung. Okay. Sir, can you hear me, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, can I can. Me, yes, I can hear you. Now, Hakimi. Uh, my group is Atika, uh, Aki, uh. Yes, Hakimi. Hakimi. Yeah, yeah. How are you? Uh, fine, fine. Okay. So, uh, what is your topic? Uh, our topic is future of internet internet things. Future of internet of things. Yes. Good. Who's your members? Uh. Ah. It's okay. Uh, but uh. Not okay. Uh, what do you know? Uh, uh, Have you communicated uh, with them? Yes, uh, I uh, communicate, uh, but now they are not respond. We are in class. Uh, Who is in the class? Uh, but um, another friend. Uh, I told you you have to communicate. You please snap, snap. Okay, I will close now. Okay, you have to snap. Thank you, Hakimi. You have to snap, you have to snap how you communicate. I would like to report now to my WhatsApp group. Now, you have two minutes now. If you don't have, if you don't snap, what you, how you communicate with your group members, I give you time to communicate, but you don't communicate, I give you minus one. Anyone who don't give any group, you don't give report, I give you minus one. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you, Hakimi. Yeah, you're welcome, sir. Now, this chapter. Yes. This chapter is talking about IT. Talking about IT. Now, please send me. You have to send me your report. Each group. Uh, doctor means we have to screenshot our our check. 
Sorry, sorry. Okay. Now, I would like to make sure that everyone is discussing with members. What happened now is uh, I lost my connectivity. Just added it back to you. I am still in your UM. So, as I told you in the WhatsApp, make sure that you discuss about 
your group assignment, how you define the job, how you to res- everyone to have to respond, and how you, you have discussed what is this topic about, how you can solve that, how you can present that topic well. Do you hear me? Hello? Yes, Dr. Yes, Dr. Yes, Dr. Yes, so we each of the group leader must report to you or WhatsApp via WhatsApp. So they come again. So you want us to report you about the group progress, right? About the topic we have chosen, right? Yes, yes. Yes, I would like you to give report for each group member. I mean each group leader to, to tell okay. me in the group who is not responding. Oh. Yes. Okay, I so, give you uh, we give you time to communicate with members. Discuss. Okay, sir. Yes, and I would like to say, what is the problem? And you write a small paragraph to tell me what you discussed, the points you discussed. So I would like to know. If you have a question, also you write a question. So you write a small paragraph as a group leader and to boss two. Yes, for sure, you have to see group one, leader, name, and what you discuss. What you still would like to ask, Ahmed, I would like to read. I would like to understand what things that I have to explain very fast. So you have to communicate. You have to communicate with each one, with everyone. Please, don't let me to make minus for anyone, for any group. Doctor, for the report. Only need to send to you through WhatsApp, or we need no, to report. make on the on the Microsoft Word. Report still, still. Uh, you have to submit in the fifteenth of January next year, after almost one and a half month, like that. But now you have to start to to prepare the articles to bring the articles because what you are going to read, what how you are going to read to write the assignment. Do you know a chapter in a book? Chapter in a book like that. I would like I would like you to write a chapter that explain what is it, your topic, what is the uses, what is the issues, and for sure, when you write in general, what is happening in the developed countries, and also one paragraph in each. Section, you will mention what is happening in Malaysia. You have to know what is happening in Japan, in Western countries, and what is happening here in Malaysia. You have to understand that topic well. Any question? The subtopic, the subtopic, yes, the subtopic that I I give you I, I give you choice. With the subtopics, the good question. Thank you to ask that question. The subtopics you have to find the most important things that make anyone to understand your topic. Yes, we don't want just to make you because each topic they have uh, different uh, uniqueness and need to be covered from different angle. So you have your choice, you as a group, to decide how you can cover and how you can write up that contents and subcontents of that topic to reflect your understanding and to make anyone who can read that chapter or that assignment and understand what's that, what is the issues, challenges, what is the practices now in business? Or what is the improvement challenges? What is the benefit? And what things related to this topic? From different things, from different angles, you can discuss your topic. So when you search in articles or in the books, books is in the books.
Aduh. Refresh je. Aduh. 